Hey, what's up guys? Mario here. So as you guys can see, I have started to take my CNC apart. It's actually been 9 months since I actually built it. And overall it has been really good. Uh, it does have a little issues. One of the issues was the ball screws, the Chinese ball screws that they're really cheap that you can find them online and eBay and maybe some other places. Uh, they're good for maybe movement, um, but when it comes down to precision, uh, they're not really that great. I actually have one of the ball screws at the beginning that it seemed that the uh, that the end machining of the screw was a little offset to the rest of the ball screw. So when you actually spin the ball screw, the ball nut will actually whiplash around. So I had to buy another one to try to fix that. Uh, but now I'm actually uh, gonna be replacing these ball screws for some little better uh, ball screws that I found online. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna be replacing will be the side, uh, the gantry side support arms and moving the rails from the side to the top. Uh, here's a look of the new gantry support arms. Uh, here's the piece that's gonna be attached, let's say, on this side like this. Here will be the, uh, the linear rails. Uh, it has some pockets for the aluminum extrusion on this side. But overall will be to maybe see if I can stiffen some of the flex or maybe not even flex I will say. It's, it was more of a, when I made these support arms, the holes for the linear rail blocks, the screw holes, I drilled them a little too big so when you actually pull on the gantry forward and back it might twist a little bit and maybe for some people might not be that, that would be perfect but what I'm gonna try to do is to see if I can make the machine to move really smooth uh, maybe try to fix the issues and hopefully improve the finish on the acrylic uh, let's see the other thing i'm gonna try to do is uh, fill uh, all the aluminum extrusions with uh, play sand or just a fine sand uh, to for one to add some weight to the base adding more weight will mean that the machine has Less, less chance to maybe uh, try to flex, maybe try to tilt back and forward. Uh, the other thing will be to maybe dampen any vibrations or uh, harmonic uh, resonance that travel maybe from the ball screws, from the linear rails down to your uh, end nails. So hopefully everything I do to the machine fixes the little issues I have and I hope not to mess up anything.
Okay guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, there's only a few things I, I have to do to it. Uh, mount the spindle, it's gonna be one. Uh, put my backing table and make sure that the machine actually is kind of square and trim the spindle, uh, maybe just do minor adjustments, but pretty much uh, the whole CNC it's almost done uh, I actually forgot to press record right now that I was just double checking to how to mount the the C axis but actually it's just the screws over here and then the two screws that hold to the top plate so it wasn't you know that that much of a change or anything just you know two bolts and two bolts and everything is mounted um, hopefully I'll do a, a follow-up video just to show up you know how the, the machine actually moves uh, see if we actually improve on cutting and maybe rigidity but as for today, I'm going to call it quits and hopefully I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thank you guys for watching.